In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to customize the default profile and group avatars and the cover photos in BuddyBoss platform. Everything that I'm about to show you will sync automatically into BuddyBoss app as well. As we're preparing for the upcoming BuddyBoss Theme 2.0 launch, we are introducing a number of admin options in BuddyBoss platform to allow you to customize the layout of your community. This will help us to achieve the BuddyBoss Theme 2.0 designs and to provide more flexibility and control to you as a site owner. These new default avatars and cover photos provide a more unified visual experience between web and app and make the community look much nicer for new members. And we've also added options for you to change them to any image you want, which I'll be showing you how to do in a moment. Here I am in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss Settings Profiles, and you can see we've added this new options area for profile images. We've also added a new options area for group images. Going back to profiles, our first option is to select whether to use the BuddyBoss or the WordPress avatar systems. If you use BuddyBoss avatars, then we'll be using these avatar options below. And if I set it to WordPress avatars, then we'll switch to the default WordPress system. And you can see the avatar options disappeared. Let's scroll down and click on save. And then I can click this link for discussion settings. And we're now using these images here from WordPress for the default member avatars. Let's see how that looks on the front end. And we can see these are all using the identicons that I'd set in the discussion settings from WordPress. If you're using BuddyBoss app, these identicons would sync into your app as well. But these don't look as nice as our BuddyBoss options, at least not in my opinion. So let's go switch it back. I'll come back here and switch this back to BuddyBoss and then scroll down and click on save. This next option, we can allow members to override the default photo with their own. This is enabled by default. And then we can also set the default profile avatar. The first option is our new BuddyBoss icon. Let's see what it looks like in a profile. This new default profile icon looks really nice and it will look great with the upcoming icon pack in BuddyBoss Theme 2.0. You can always click on Legacy to return to the previous style. So let's try that. And as I scroll down, you can see we show a live preview of how this looks in web and in app. If you're not using BuddyBoss app, then you'll only see this web preview. Let's scroll down and click to save. So now we're back to the old avatars. And if you update to the latest version of BuddyBoss app, you would see these old avatars synced into your app as well. And then I can also upload my own custom avatar. Let's pretend I was running a sports community. In that case, I might want a sports related icon to be the default image for all of my members. So let's go ahead and upload an icon and I'll select this football icon. And then I can crop it. And we can see the preview again for web and app. And let's scroll back down and click save. Now let's go see how this looks in our members directory. And all of these members who have not yet uploaded their own custom avatar, all have this nice football icon now. I'll click on Dale here and we can view his profile. And we can see that looks nice here as well. We can also allow members to use gravatars. If you check this, any member whose email has been registered with the gravatar.com service will get their gravatar automatically pulled in as their default avatar. And then we can move on to the cover photo settings. We can allow members to upload their own cover photos from the front end to replace the default cover photo. And we can set what the default cover photo image should be. This option here was previously located in the BuddyBoss theme options, but with this release, we've moved it into the platform settings. So now you can customize all of the default images from one place, and so we can provide a consistent default cover image experience between both web and app. We've provided a really nice looking cover image under the BuddyBoss option, showing a pattern of icons in the cover photo area. And as a reminder, this is just the default image. Your members can still go ahead and upload their own image to replace it. This image is actually a transparent PNG, which is allowing this light blue color applied in the background to show through. 
This means we can change the background color to get it to match with our website's color scheme. So let me show you how to do that. For the web, we'll be doing this through the theme and I can go into the theme options. And under body elements, we have an option here to change the cover image background color. So let me go ahead and change it to this light purple color and I'll click on save changes. Let's go see how that looks. Now we can see the image has adjusted to match with this new purple color. Let's go back into our image settings and I'll refresh this page. And now you can see the new purple color is showing in our preview. And if you're using BuddyBoss app, we've provided a separate option to set the cover image color for the app in the app's color settings. Let me quickly show you how to do that. I can click this link and I'm taken into the color settings under BuddyBoss app branding colors. And under general, we've added this new option for cover image background. And I'll set this to our purple color also. And I'll click on save. Now let's go back into our profile settings and refresh again. And now if I click on the app preview, we can see the same style has been applied to our app header as well. And here's a preview of what this would look like in your app. If we don't want any default image at all, we can always change the default cover image to none. And I'll click save. And then let's refresh Dale's profile here. And now you can see we're just showing that purple color that we'd selected in the cover photo settings until Dale chooses to upload his own custom cover image. And then we have one more option to upload our own custom image for the default cover photo. Since this is hypothetically a sports community, I'm going to upload a sports related cover photo. And let's save. And now let's check out our profile again. So now we have this really cool customized default profile experience syncing nicely between web and app. So now let's go check out the group settings so I can show you how that works. We can go into Buddy Boss settings groups and then scroll down to our group images settings. The first option is to allow avatars for groups. If you disable this, then all of your groups will have no avatars in both web and app. I'll leave this enabled. And then the rest of the settings are the same as what we saw in profiles, with the same options for the default group avatar and cover images, and a preview for how they would look in web and app. Let's see how this default Buddy Boss avatar and cover image look in groups. You can see some of my groups already have their own avatars and cover photos that were uploaded previously by their group organizers. And these ones do not yet have their own uploaded images, so they're using our defaults. And the purple color is showing behind this cover photo in the group as well. Just like in profiles, if you prefer our older style, you can switch the avatar back to legacy and you can switch the cover image back to none. And let's save. Let's see how that looks. And now we're back to the previous theme style. And of course, you can also upload your own custom images. So let's see how that looks. I'll upload the same images that I used a moment ago in profiles. Upload our avatar. And then our cover image. And I'll click on save. And let's check the group's directory. And this is all looking really cool. We're really excited to launch this feature. I know that a lot of these options have been requested in the past by customers who've wanted more flexibility and control with how they can customize the look and feel of their communities. 
and want a better experience out of the box for new members. And we're working very hard to add all kinds of nice improvements like this as we continue our march toward BuddyBoss Theme 2.0.